how to create HTML files using Jinja and Flask. So let's start. So what I'll do here is I'll kind of create a basic Flask server. So I'll just create main.py and in main.py I'll just, you know, like how we usually create a Flask service. So I have actually covered this in my previous video where I actually explained how to create a basic Flask server and how to create a get and post request. So we are kind of doing the same thing. We are kind of creating a basic class server with let's say you know for now I'll just create one route and which will be you know app route and we'll call that a slash and we'll just create the basic function for it and for now I'm just returning here a normal JSON so I'll just call it as response and I'll just call it as you know, Docker and let's write the driver code for it so that it can be started okay so now what i have here is i have a bc plus server if i kind of run this server what i'll get is i go to localhost 3000 i'll get as response as Prakar. but this is a raw response this is like an api response what if we actually want it as a as a html page that's where actually Jinja comes into picture. So what we'll do is we'll also, you know, import from here render template. And instead of returning this, I'm right now commenting out this, I'll return render template. Now, if we see this function, what we have to do is the first thing is template name. So template name is nothing but the HTML file, which you actually want to render. So we'll, for now, let's not go forward. We'll just write home.html. But where is this HTML file actually? So by default Jinja actually search the file inside a folder named templates so wherever your uh, you know the server code is in that same level you have to kind of create a folder named templates and inside templates you can create a file whatever home.html or you can configure whatever name you want to do now if you want to actually take file instead of template folder from some other folder you can actually add the configuration of it there and it will pick the file from in somewhere else but for the demonstration i'm just creating a template folder and i have created a home.html now what i want to do is i'll create here an h1 tag a basic html page and i'm just i'll just write here welcome so now if i actually just start the server again and i just go to the page i see here written as welcome which is expected but the point is we act, if you want to customize this then actually a Jinja is used so let's say I want to actually send my name here so what I'll do is I'll write my name as Prakhar and I'll just send it as an argument in render template and in home I can actually just render it using this two curly braces and I can write the same variable here and now if I stop and restart my server <coughs> and yeah so if I refresh the page it says Prakhar so now this is actually coming from the backend server. In the HTML file, there was actually no variable named. Like this, this is the basics of Jinja, like how Jinja can be connected to Flask. We can also kind of render lists. So let's say, you know, you want to render names, instead of one names, and you call it like Prakhar, Sam, and John. What you can do is you can actually create so jinja supports a lot of things like you can create list you can create different different structures you can actually do everything dynamically so for ex for just for an example if i actually want to make a list uh, if i want to do a for loop how i do it in python i say you know for var in names right and then you kind of do the end for like right? that means you are you are actually like in Python, the indent actually marks the end of the block, but in, in Jinja, you cannot have an indent. Or if even if you have an indent, it doesn't make sense. So you kind of need like end for and for, if and end if. And here you can just, like how we did earlier, you can just say var and I can say hi like this. And I can save it. Now if I stop, restart my server and I go here, I can say hi Prakhar, hi Sam, hi John. Now it is coming on the one on the same line we can kind of add here you know, a br tag like this now if we refresh this server if we refresh this page you can see hyper hi john so that's how a basic ginger template can be created in 
the later videos you will see how you can create complex Jinja templates maybe we will create a project if required like let's say a login sign up application where you actually log in and you sign up and you have a home page where it takes the details from the for the signed up user and actually creates a whole page or you can create a to-do list the possibilities like whatever you want to do you can actually do using the Jinja and yeah that's how you actually render a html page with Jinja template